How do I push through every hardship and challenge that I go through? I use the what if approach. I've got a what if approach, right? A what if approach. My what if approach is, what if every dream and every goal that I had was my reality right now? What if? How would my life be different? If I made $10 million a year right now, would my life be different? <laughs> if you guys made triple or quadruple the money you did right now, would your life be different? Instead of being 17th or 19th, if you were number one right now, would your life be different? Yeah, sure. That's what motivates me. And that's what pushes me. Because what if I was one of the top motivational speakers in the world right now? You already are, brother. You already are. So what if that was my reality right now, right? So after I left Joe, I started grinding. I started hustling. I had a good mentor, a good teacher, and I had to take what he gave me, and I had to keep going with it. I had to keep grinding with it, and I be, and I became somebody instead of being this little old me. I became somebody that was nationally known. I rocked with Grant Cardone. I rocked with Verdi, with Jim Ziegler. I rocked with all of them, right? Why? Because I grind. Because I grind and I push every single day, right? And when you have goals and when you have dreams that you're pushing for and you understand that that's what your life is about, then you decide to dig. Dig. Anybody know what dig means? D-I-G, dig. Who knows what that means? What is it? Keep grinding, Keep grinding right? Dig. Do it great. No matter what it is that you do, make sure that you dig. Make sure that you do it great. Why? Because you have people competing with you, right? You're not the only one in your space. Would you agree? Yes. So it is to your benefit and to your advantage that no matter what it is that you do, that you dig, right? And when it gets hard, what do you do? You dig more, right? M-O-R-E, money only respects excellence. Come on with it. Come on with it. So who want to make some money in here? Raise your hand. Who want to make some money? Well, if you want to make money, what do you have to do? Yeah. You have to dig more, right? What does more stand for? Money only respects excellence. So if you want to make that money, then you have to be excellent, right? Because there's noise out there, right? You've got a lot of competition. There's noise everywhere. Everybody's selling Rams, Jeeps, Chrysler's, cars, used cars, everybody, right? I'm from Atlanta, right? We all selling cars down there. I'd have been to Boston where they selling cars. I'd have been to New York and LA where they selling cars. In Orlando, where his brother has a big old auto group. I'd have been down there. He used to trip me out. He used to drive down the street and see Moss Volkswagen with Joe. <laughs> right? Remember, I would call him sometime. Hey, Joe, I'm in front of your brother's store, man. This is tripping me out, Moss Volkswagen. <laughs> right? But everybody is competing, so you have a lot of noise to deal with. Would you agree? let alone all the headaches, you know? You got a lot of noise out there. What are you doing to be great? What are you doing? What's special about you? Why should anybody pay attention to you? What does your grind look like, right? What is, your, what is your purpose? What is your grind? Are you operating in your potential? Because if you're not, then you have a lot more work to do. Would you agree? Yes. yes. This thing is about success. This thing is about success. It's all about success, right? You get people talking about to you about success all the time, right? But success is two things. It can either be an option or it can be a decision. But if it's an option, that means it requires an alternative, right? Success or not to <coughs> be success, right? But when it's a decision, it requires a commitment, right? That means you have to dive all in, both feet, right? Burn the bridges. Burn the boats, right? You're all in. You gotta be willing to run through the fire with gasoline draws on. That's what it takes. <laughs> yeah. You got hundreds of thousands of people competing in your space. What are you willing to do to be great about it? Right? What are you willing to do to be great? Right? Fear. What would prevent you from being successful? Fear. Who knows what fear stands for? What does it stand for? How many of you have heard that false evidence Ooh, appearing? Jamie, right? Jamie. Love it. Love it. Let me tell you Shock and Dice's <laughs> definition of fear. Fake excuses and reasons. 
That's what would stop you from being successful. Fake excuses and reasons. Why didn't you accomplish that? What made you not take that action? What made you not call that customer? What made you not close that sale? Why? What's that mean again, brother? Fake excuses and reasons. I'm writing that down. Come on with it, right? You can do anything unless you talk yourself out of it. Would you agree? Absolutely. Yes. Fake excuses and reasons. Yeah. Remove the procrastination. Remove it. You want something? Do it now, right? Because procrastination leads to fear. What does fear stand for? Fake excuses, excuses and reasons. reasons. Come on with it, right? Do it now, right? Why wait when now is available? Would you agree? Yes. Why wait when now is available? Why be a level seven player when 10 is available? Why? Right? This is greatness we're talking about here. We're not talking about average. We're not talking about mediocre. We're talking about exceptional. Right? You let your goals motivate you and you let your potential inspire you. Would you agree? And when you become that person, you'll become the envy of everyone's eye around you. I promise you that. Right? This is greatness. This is greatness, right? Who's depending on you? Who's depending on you right now? Huh? Everybody. Who's depending on you right now? There's two people depending on you. Your family, right? Everybody got family? Raise your hand. Yeah. Your family? But let me tell you who else is depending on you. Your future self. Your future self. You, in five years, are depending on you right now to grind. You, in five years, are depending on you right now to get it in. Because if you don't do what you have to do, then you in five years can't be what they need to be. Would you agree? Yes. So it's about your grind, your hustle. Who are you doing this for? What is your why? Right? Let your goals motivate you. Let your potential inspire you to greatness. All right? Yes, sir. Y'all with me this morning? Yes. Sir. I am greatness. Say it. I am greatness. 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 All right, y'all. My name is Shaka Dyson. Thank you so much. This is all about you. Yeah. What I just tell you right now, how do I feel? He feels like a proud father right now. I feel like a proud papa right now, and I'll tell you why. Because I love this guy. I've loved him for a long time, and I mean genuine love. Do you know why? Because when I met him, he was so <coughs> eager to become great. He was so coachable and so humble. And when I see you doing what you're doing right now, I'm like, I'm like got chills. Gooseys, like Jennifer Lopez says on American Idol. I got gooseys. I got gooseys. Because I'll tell you what, if you ain't inspired by what this man just said, check your dang pulse. Because I can tell you right now, I want to go through a freaking wall right now. Woo! Because he ain't joking with what he's saying. This guy came from a finance manager of a small store to this. Can we please put our hands together for shopping?